Samsung's latest smartwatches are still, at the time of this video going live, the best you can get on Wear OS, but what's new and is it worth the upgrade now the dust has settled? Well, here's everything you need to know about the Galaxy Watch 4 and the Galaxy Watch 5. Thanks for watching 95 Google here on YouTube. Remember to thumbs up, hit subscribe, and then tap the bell icon to be among the first to watch our upcoming videos. So this time around, there's no Galaxy Watch 5 Classic. Instead, Samsung has opted to streamline and offer a standard Galaxy Watch model alongside a pro version that includes a larger, more durable chassis and more on top of that. If you like the physical rotating bezel, then it might be worth looking at the previous generation, which is now available at a discount. Realistically though, from the outside, the Galaxy Watch 4 and the Watch 5 are almost indistinguishable from each other. There really is nothing save a few minor tweaks to the actual colors on offer. Oddly though, a new microphone cutout has been added in between the right-sided case buttons. The tactility of the hardware controls is still exactly the same, with the red bound still found around that upper button, aiding visibility for quick access to this function. The 40mm watches, they still have 1.2 inch screens at 396 by 396 pixels, while the slightly larger 44mm Galaxy Watch 4 and Watch 5 have 1.4 inch AMOLED screens at 450 by 450 pixels, so pretty pin sharp across the board. And even the dimensions of these watches are exactly the same, with the 40mm Watch 4 and Watch 5 measuring at 404 by 39.3mm, the 44mm device measures in at 44.4 by 43.3mm and all four models available across both generations are 9.8mm thick, so pretty standard for a smartwatch from 2021 here in 2022 as well. The outer casing is practically identical, that's the short answer here. Almost all of the internal specifications are the same here too. They're identical, save the battery capacities, which might be of interest to some people out there, but that does come at a cost to the weight of the 40 and 44 millimeter watches. They've increased around about by 10%. So that's 25.9 grams to 28.7 grams in the case of that 44 millimeter option and 30.3 grams to 33.5 grams on the 44 millimeter watch five. Three grams added to each Galaxy Watch might not be all that noticeable, but the increased lifespan could be a big draw for those disappointed in the Watch 4 lifespan. A faster charger is also included in the box of this new model. This is something that has been sorely needed on the Galaxy Watch series for some time. With 10 watt charging speeds now available, that's an increase of a five watt using that magnetic charge puck, which does come with a USB-C adapter at the end rather than USB-A which is found on the previous model. Lifespan itself is often very subjective, but the batteries are noticeably larger at 284 milliamp hours on the Watch 5 versus 247 milliamp hours on the 40 millimeter version. The 40 millimeter Watch 5 packs a 410 milliamp hour internal cell versus the 361 milliamp hour battery, which is found on the Watch 4. And this makes two days of light usage much more attainable than it was with the previous generation, but that will de depend heavily upon how you are using your smartwatch. And it's not for us to really say if you will get that on a regular basis, you'll have to tune your experience to achieve two days of lifespan or achieve those upper echelons of lifespan capabilities. The return though of the Exynos W920 processor and 1.5 gigabytes of RAM means the performance levels remain exactly the same. You'll certainly not see a difference even when both watches are in motion side by side. A new Sapphire Crystal display though has been added to the Galaxy Watch 5 and this should mean greater durability but it's unclear just how much more that you'll notice in the real world. And I must admit in the time I've been using these two side by side, it has really not been obvious to me at first glance. Smartwatches are a strange hybrid and a bridge between your smartphone and fitness tracking. Updates are often less frequent, but support is important nonetheless. And Samsung has promised up to four years of updates for all of its Wear OS powered Galaxy watches, which of course includes the Galaxy Watch 4 and the Galaxy Watch 5. It's not quite clear just what that means in terms of overall OS updates, in terms of those upgrade versions, 
but it could be that the Watch 4 ends up running Wear OS 7 within its lifespan. We don't have a crystal ball, but we're at very least at likely to see security patches and updates for a long time yet to come. And that is something that definitely makes this an opportunity or a great opportunity for someone wanting their first Wear OS wearable. Given that the Galaxy Watch 5 is a year newer, it should be supported up to and including 2026. Meanwhile, the Watch 4 will cease getting updates at some point in 2025, according to Samsung's proposed four-year update timeline. At this point in 2022, the Duo are now running the same software version, One UI 4.5, based upon Wear OS 3.5, which is the most recent version of Google software available. There's no significant new features, or at least no significant new features that have been added, but there are new watch faces on the newer model, and they're present alongside some enhancements to the performance, which now have come to the Watch 4 with that One UI 4.5 OTA. The software picture for the Watch 4 has improved substantially as well since it first launched in late 2021. The Google Assistant is now available alongside a number of material you redesigns for popular Google applications, including the Play Store, Google Messages, Keep Notes, and much more on top. This does mean that the Watch 5 has a minor edge out of the box as a year of updates and improvements to Wear OS are available right now as soon as you purchase, but they are available now via OTAs on the Watch 4, so it's pretty much even across the board here. Samsung though has made a few minor tweaks to the hardware sensors, the bioactive sensor on the Galaxy Watch 5 over the Watch 4. It has a larger contact area with your skin, so this should mean more accurate readings and therefore fitness data tracking. It's hard to speak too critically of the health metrics on the Galaxy Watch 4 though, as they help give you a fairly solid indication of your health data points. And this information isn't quite as accurate as say a dedicated, dedicated external hardware, but offers good estimates to help you ascertain and manage your daily health. I'll give you a good picture of it. That's not all though, as this new sensor on the Watch 5 includes a new body temperature tracker. Unfortunately though, at the time of this video going live, it's not yet working, but Samsung claims a future update will add the function at some point very soon. As for the workout tracking modes though, there really isn't anything new to speak of. Every mode on the Galaxy Watch 4 is present on the brand new Watch 5, and that means over 100 workout tracking modes are crammed into Samsung's onboard health and fitness application. Without that temperature sensor active, the experience is identical across the 2021 and 2022 iterations of this smartwatch series. But when that feature does get enabled, we may see some greater tracking available on the Galaxy Watch 5 for what it's worth. But again, at the time of this video going live, it's identical across both series. On the Galaxy Watch 5 though, you do get a few little extras, extras for sleep tracking, including sleep coaching, but a recent update has also made snoring detection available on board the watch without needing your smartphone nearby on both the Galaxy Watch 4 and Galaxy Watch 5. It's not too dissimilar to the approach that's used previously, but it is better not having to have a tethered Android phone or phone nearby to access this tracking data. So you're probably wondering, should you upgrade? Well, the simple answer is genuinely no. Unless you want marginally extended battery life, the Galaxy Watch 5 offers no real major improvements that a Galaxy Watch 4 owner should be worried about or at least considering. The design, accessories, software, and the experience are practically the same no matter which option you do have. If you are craving an upgrade though, the Galaxy Watch 5 Pro is a major step up in the lifespan stakes and of course the pricing to boot. For $449, that too is not just a minor step up. Sure, there are multiple days of lifespan and a refined design, but the performance is identical across the board no matter which option you have, 2021 or 2022 Galaxy Watch series. So hopefully that gives you a little bit of a picture of how the Galaxy Watch 4 and the Watch 5 stack up. It's very new to speak of, but with upgrades in the weakest areas on the predecessor, albeit without massively improving the processor, it might be a bigger leap if you do wait or indeed pick up that Watch 5 Pro. We would say though, hold out and just see what Fossil, Oppo, and even Google have in store with their own Pixel Watch in the not too distant future. That said, I'd love to know your thoughts. Are you planning an upgrade or have you even picked up the Galaxy Watch 5? Let me know down in the comment sections below how you're getting on. Really interesting to hear your thoughts. But as always, until next time, this is Damien with 95Google saying thanks for watching and I will speak to you later.